Hey guys, hope you're having a great day or a fantastic day. Today is Thursday in our household. I don't even know what we're going to do today, but I'll just share what we're going to do today in our life. I didn't record yesterday. Yesterday I did a different video, and so I, and it was a good day because a lot of you ask, oh my goodness, you go, go, go every day. Do you ever stop, or do you ever just not feel like it? And I said, I said, no, I do feel good all the time. Like, I feel good to get up and go and do with my life, but I thought about it yesterday because I was feeling kind of, um, let me share the words, PMS in. Yes, that's the wonderful deliciousness of life. And so, not deliciousness, that sounds gross. The wonderfulness of life. And we have a change of season here. Our little area is like the highest contented area for um, allergens in the air. And so I've been opening my windows lately and I think I said that a couple of videos ago about how wait till it's affected the kids and how they feel. Well, it's affected me. And so I know the other night I woke up in the other night and I started sneezing. I could not stop. I mean, literally over and over and over and I was so tired. I was like, oh my goodness. So I got up and took an allergy pill. Felt great, but you could still feel the sinusy pressure in here. And I know Madeline, for about two days ago, she just her head hurt all the time, and I'm like, oh, and her nose, throat feeling scratchy, and so I just gave her an allergy and some motion, and she was fine. Well, I started feeling that too, and so yesterday was the day I got up, and I was like, oh, so I took a, I woke up during the night, and I woke up in the morning, took another allergy pill, and then went through the day and had it just felt kind of blah. And then by nighttime last night, it was about seven o'clock, and I was reading books to the boys. I was reading books on the, the floor to the boys, and I literally fell asleep. <laughs> Stephen's like, Mom, Mom, aren't you gonna finish the story? <laughs> and so I fell asleep, it was like 7.30, I think it was, last night. So then I got up, I was like, you know what, I need to go to bed. So I got everybody set and said, okay, you guys can play for a little bit, but at nine o'clock, you're gonna lay down in bed, and I need you to lay down in bed today. Please do as I say. And then I went to sleep. I was out, I took a Motrin and a, my um, cetrazine pill and I fell asleep. I slept. I woke up once or twice because Maxine, because Maxine heard Colin come home and she's all, hoo, hoo. she'll be in a dead sleep and she'll hear Colin, she'll go all crazy and excited. <laughs> so she loves them. <laughs> and so I put her down, but I was still so groggy. And usually I never wake up groggy like that. Usually I'm very alert, like in the night, like my crazy freaky dog. <laughs> so, but I was very groggy and I felt it. So I fell back asleep. I did not wake up this morning until. I got up, my husband just got up, I got him coffee. I, he, I got him coffee before I got me coffee. I just started up my cup of coffee. So I was about 6.40, I got up, and I just sat on my computer for a minute before my coffee was even ready and just wrote a list of what I had to do today, and that was it. And then I'm like, okay, I need to come open my video today. So what, it was something big today when I was getting dressed. I was going by, it's gonna be a fantastic day. My husband's like, is it gonna be a fantastic day, honey? And I said, yes it is, because we do not go by feelings. <laughs> Because we can't, our whole world, we have a whole world that goes by how they feel. That is not what we should be living our lives on how we feel. Because guess what? Today, I feel like climbing back in my bed and snuggling and go back to sleep. Some days people don't feel like getting up and moving because they feel too depressed. Some people don't feel like going to work because they're so sick of it. Some people don't feel like doing anything because they just don't even want to do it anymore. We cannot go by feelings. No. If I went by my feelings today, I guarantee, I guarantee, because this is what I used to do, oh, I feel a little tired. Oh, my back's kind of sore. I feel a little crampy. And I just feel this and I feel this. And there is an okay time for resting and taking care of yourself. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the majority of the time. If you just sit there and give into those feelings, that is how you're gonna be. If I just woke up and went, oh, my head's kind of a little tension. I just lay back in bed, I guarantee you I'd sleep in bed all day and feel awful. But if you get up, get your shower, get ready, get moving like you should for your day, and then do your, you'd be surprised at how much better you feel. I'll, I'll do a little story of how I feel by the end of the day because I don't know because I'm feeling this right now. So I probably will move a lot slower today and I'm just thinking that, but maybe not. Maybe my medicine will kick in and I'll feel great and be on fire. <laughs> but if not, what I'll know to do is go slower and not so much today. I think that's your key. You might not feel like on top of your game completely, but at least do something. We need to get rid of our feelings because you cannot go by what you feel because guess what? These bodies want to be lazy. These bodies want to be selfish. These bodies want to do whatever we want to do. We never want to do what anybody else wants to do, right? We just want to do us. That's not how we want to live our lives. We want to live our lives how the Lord has for us, doing what he wants us to do. And that is always the better plan. I I'm going to I'm not, a, I'm not a prophet, prophesize. I'm gonna prophesize that I guarantee by the end of my day, I will be feeling great. And 
Is it based on, on me? No, it's based on God because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I gotta get up, I gotta get my household rolling because I got a whole household of kids to take care of today. Yes, they could take care of themselves and they could do their own thing and do it, but the house would fall apart <laughs> and that's okay if I had to, but I don't have to. So I'm gonna get up and go for my day. Today's day is Thursday. I know we have a lot of cleaning to do, deeper cleaning of the house. This week is our kitchen week two for our home. Let me show you about week two. Week two for us, week three for you, and this is the little boy's blankets, I already did that, and kitchen and dining room. And then today's Thursday, we have, um, there's not a whole lot up there, which is good, which is really easy. Normally I would do my deep cleaning on Friday or Saturday, but Friday I'm gonna be going out with Jaden. Jaden is the last child that has not gone shopping with me because she's working all the time. So Friday she has an eye appointment, and then I thought I'll take her and get her clothes, things that she needs, and then we even need a few things at the store um, to pick up, not a whole lot, but a few things, because Saturday we have our um, discovery days for our community, and so what I'm, I'm gonna do for that is I'm making a huge pot of 10 Kid Taco Chili. That's my that's my name for my chili cook-off, because you have to come up with a name. I'm like, I don't know, and so I'm like, 10 Kid Taco Chili. <laughs> so 10 Kid Taco Chili won, first one up last year for our community, and so I think the winner wasn't even from our community but 10 kit taco chili is what I'm gonna have. So I'm gonna make a huge pot of that and just um, I'm gonna, um, give that to the community and then they can sell it and then they can make money and raise money for our park, which is awesome because we use that park every single day of our lives and that's a great thing to invest in. So you invest in your community because guess who's gonna benefit? My kids, because it's where my kids are gonna grow up. So I like to take part of that. I like to do things in it because this is where they grow up. Nobody does anything it's not going to be a community so i like that so we're going to do that saturday i might do a video clip of something here or there i'll see we'll see if we do or not but we're going to be giving that away and kids have fun they have sack races and old timey like hula hoops and like hoops and the old timey kind of things i'm going to say it that way so it'll be a fun saturday so that's what we're going to do saturday so i have to pick up a few things for that for my 10 kid taco chili that'll be it it'll be an easy day tomorrow i'll be ready to cook my meat and get it ready for the chili, I'll probably cook all of them. I'm gonna probably use my big roaster, I'm thinking, to keep it hot, and then use the pots, depending on how much extra there is, the pots to store it, and then I can just keep pouring it and keeping it warm. So that's gonna be my game plan. And Sunday we have church, so it'll be a great weekend. Once again, it's gonna be another beautiful weekend, 80 degrees, oh, love it. I am so, so excited, so. And that's gonna be it. So we're gonna take you along with my day today. Remember, don't go based by your feelings, because that feeling is gonna make you wanna do nothing. We go by what we are called to do and I'm called to be a mother of a household <laughs> even though I don't feel like it I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna start laundry I gotta get a laundry I got a lot of laundry to do and a house pickup which is not too bad thank the Lord my kids get bigger and older the house stays neater we have a ton of dishes and we have a ton of laundry but the rest stays a little bit more picked up so mamas that have little ones and your house is trash all the time just know that that will get cleaner and cleaner so Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna go drink my coffee and stir. I got my new mug here. Okay, I'm used to the smaller mug that I used to use my Starbucks for forever. I bought this one at Aldi and it's bigger, so it throws me off because it's about, if you fill it up, it's about what I usually drink each day. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I need to get another cup, but I don't want another cup, so. <laughs> I just got all my coffee in one cup, so let's go get our coffee and let's get going with our day. Ready? Let's go. I had to go get my um, Norwex crystals out of my other bathroom. So what I did, you guys, I know I, I share Norwex I, because I love it. It works, that's all I use, which is really good. I don't buy any other cleaners. This powder, it's not their laundry detergent, but it used to be called Ultra Clean, I believe is the name. And it was it's, it's still the same as laundry detergent. You can do it as both things. I have used it as laundry detergent, but I love it for cleaning because it gets off the disgusting scope, soap scum easily in my bathtub. But I know a lot of you say it's very expensive. And um, the one bag they give you, I shared that it lasts forever. I just had filled this bottle up, I think the last time maybe I did a video, it was an empty container, it might've been two weeks ago. But it lasted me that long and it's been months. And so you just need a little bit, which is really good. So I had another one of these containers, it's just a spice container and I poured it in here. When I was doing my once a month cooking, I threw the container away and the next day I let Oh, I should have kept that container so I can put one in this bathroom and one in the other bathroom, but I didn't. So I have to wait till I get an empty container and then I can pour my crystals in here. But I love this. this is what I use for my bathtub. It's all I use with my Norwex cloth, all I use in the toilet, all I use in my sinks. I use vinegar, and not all. I use vinegar for like daily wipes down, but this cleans it really, really good. 
I guess this is my carpet cleaner. Oh yes, and you can use it in your washer as well. So when I use it to clean my Norwex cloths instead of Comet, those kind of things, that's what I really like. So I had it in the other boys' bathroom because I was doing that. So I'm gonna do a deep clean in here. Typically on um, Saturday I do that, but I'm gonna be gone for a chili cookout. So I'm gonna do that today. I think I did it last week on Thursday as well. Click easy, it'll take me like less than five minutes, I'm gonna say, and it'll be done. All right, take my earbud out here. I'm gonna clean my toilet and talk to you because most people get grossed out. Ooh, grossed out if I clean my toilet with my hand. Yes, I do, have been doing that my entire life. Don't know why, probably just because my mom did and I did. It's good. So now I use my Norwex cloth for this. But what I was gonna say, share, is that the time to clean my bathroom took less than five minutes, like I said. It took me two minutes in the shower, um, 30 seconds, I think it was 30 seconds on the floor, 30 seconds on the counter, 30 seconds on the toilet. So that's, that's a minute and a half, two, yeah. And then I'm doing the toilet, but I'm doing it slow because I'm talking to you. When you do, I remember back in the day, I would hate, hate cleaning the bathroom. I really did because our shop bathrooms, it seems like it took me forever to scrub the showers. I had like, what is that, the, the, the tub scrubber, like the tool that scrubs the, the showers out to get all the yuckies off. and. I tried everything it seems to make it work and nothing was getting like I, I just despised. I went back in Michigan we had really rusty water. I just used the works and just poured it in my shower. I know it's just pure laziness Amy. But what I found is if you do it consistently it stays clean. Oh yeah and mine stay much cleaner now that my kids don't get baths because we would do baths you know two three times a week and so they would get a lot more soap scum on the bottom. And now that they don't take baths, because everybody wants to take a shower, because they feel all big, you know, the seven minute shower. I'm thinking I'm gonna drop it out of five minutes because I feel like there's a play in there now. <laughs> so what I do is, um, it's so much easier. So if you keep up on it, it keeps it way cleaner. So I know I'll just like, okay, scroll like this one was super clean. The boys, the boys shower's a little bit dirtier. I don't know if it's because they're boys and they have more dirt or if it's just the older shower, but it takes a little bit longer. It's still a five minute cleaning. So consistently keep, keep up with your clean. I do ours once a week, a good deep clean. And then um, I sometimes go through a wipe every day, not always. You guys have seen me do that where I just go and spray with my paper towel and vinegar. And so not so much in the rooms that we don't like this one. I don't do this one all the time because it's just my husband. I usually, the main bathroom that everybody uses, I do that one because everybody touches that one. So, but even if I didn't, it would just, it would probably take maybe seven minutes to clean it once a week. So just keep up on it consistently and that helps in the long run. So, all right, we're gonna grab some laundry and go do my bedroom.
All right, so I've got all of my work done. That's all I'm gonna do today. I didn't have to wash the dishes. I'll spare you washing dishes. Um, then I, st I sat, I, didn't sit, I stood, and I kind of figured out what I'm gonna make for food today. Probably tomorrow, Saturday, thinking about Sunday. So what I'm gonna make tonight for dinner is um, Sloppy Joe cups, where I pulled out my bag of mixture. <clears throat> this was a freezer meal. All right, battery died. So I got out my freezer meal, my Sloppy Joe cups for my freezer. I made my salt my um, mixture, but it's basically sloppy joes with bacon, barbecue sauce. I think it's barbecue sauce, mustard, onion, bacon, and meat. You can go to my blog and see the recipe, but I'm gonna take, I've got biscuits, I think. I do, I was like, do I have biscuits? I have four cans of biscuits. I'll have the kids, um, we're gonna, actually you don't roll them out, you just kind of flatten a little bit, put a cup in the middle, kind of kind of smush it down, and then you put the meat mixture on and you bake in the oven. We're gonna have that with oven fries because I have a lot of sweet potatoes and regular fries so we'll do that for dinner tonight I'm gonna make that later because we're gonna be getting out the door in a little bit to take Jaden so she can go do her mentorship at the elementary school so that'll be dinner tonight breakfast I pulled some apples I'm gonna make some apple oatmeal right now because that tastes good this morning a like cold morning and then lunch I don't know we're gonna be in the car so I don't know if we'll pack a lunch and go or I do have little pizzas English muffin pieces. I might bake those in the oven real quick and then let the kids take those in the car. So we'll do that for today. Tomorrow is Friday. Lauren has the kids tomorrow. And so I'm thinking they love, when we worked at the, um, when we volunteered at the Farm City Days, the um, older people had fresh biscuits with bacon and gravy. And I was like, ooh, that's a good seven dish. Well, we have all that. So I'm gonna have Lauren bake biscuits. I've got that pack of gravy we got at the discount store and I'm bacon. I just um, froze it. So I'm gonna pull that out. They can eat that for breakfast tomorrow. And then for lunch tomorrow, they can do um, pizza because there's a lot of the pizza. And then dinner, I'm gonna do the gyro patties because I found that tzatziki dressing at Aldi. So we'll have that with oven fries tomorrow for dinner. So then I'll be making my chili. So in my head, I'm like, there will be enough gyro patties. There should be enough sloppy joe mixture. I can put it in buns and then we'll have our chili mixture. That'll kind of take us into Saturday so I don't really have to do a whole lot of food. So don't keep making meals. Just kind of stretch out what you have. I even have the meatballs and noodles from Tuesday. Still, some kids might like that today. So that's what I'm going to do. So right now I'm going to mix up oatmeal, get that going because the kids will be getting up and let them sleep a little bit longer today because every day they're like, can we sleep in tomorrow? Because they wake up early every day, which is fine. No, you should always wake up early, but I'll let them sleep for a little bit today because we don't have to get out the door super early. So that'll be good. So mix some oatmeal. I'm just gonna do oatmeal, brown sugar, apples, and cinnamon. Put it in the microwave. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, the kids are doing all their work. Look at Jane over there, she's got purple on too. I like it. Jane is my black child, black, black child in a nice way. Like, she <laughs> she likes, she's black, she's black, but she likes darker clothes, and that's okay, whatever she wants. And a camel, which is great. So today she came up, look at her, she looks beautiful. We're, we're, all of us went like this. Jaden, you look so different and pretty. <laughs> so, not that you're not pretty any other time, but she's looking pretty. So it's good, so everybody's looking good. Let me show you everybody. Here's Maddie, Maddie's got her pink on. And look at all, I'm just sitting on the table, because we stand on tables. No, she's cleaning my light switch up here. Here, here's Madeline. Madeline, the little Jane's cute. And, and you got your stuff on. So what we're gonna do now, Evan is so graciously, we have to take Jaden, and it's gonna be busy for me. And if we go out, all we're gonna do is spend more money, because that's what you do when you go out, so. If you 
can stay home, you spend less, less money. So we're gonna let Evan take her and drop her off at church so she can go do it and then we'll go pick her up. So what we're gonna do now is our deep clean. I'm gonna give every kid a little job here for the kitchen and dining room. It should go super quick. Do a deep clean, it should take you hours. I'll just do my fan blades right now. I'm gonna give all Maddie the job of wiping out all my bar stools really good. What? And she's gonna do it on top of the fridge. And I'm gonna start wiping the kitchen cabinets off. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, we got all of our deep cleaning done. It took literally 15 minutes. It helped not to have to go through and organize all your cabinets. I kind of went through the drawers here. I took out like the corn stick things. Haven't used those. I bought them a long time ago and Steven didn't like touch anything, so I thought he'd like those with corn. He never touched them once this year, so I was like pointless. And then, hi Colin. And then um, chopsticks they threw away. Those magnet clips, they don't work that good. I use clothespins. So everything else, and then that one little spatula. I'm like, it's too flimsy, so I don't use it. So is done here. I just turned my oven on, I wiped it out really good, and then it's pretty caked on, so I'm gonna do my oven clean, get that done. And then um, that's it. Everything else is done here, which is good. So I'm um, just gonna clean up the sink, take everything out, and then we're finished with our deep clean. So super quick, super fast. Okay, so what I just did, I started um, hard boiled eggs. I didn't record any because I'm like, oh, it's no big deal. But I put them in there. I usually just do the beans chili setting, which puts it on low, five minutes, and then as soon as they're done, I quick release and take them out. Most of the time, they're pretty good about peeling up, but sometimes they get where it's always a pain in the butt. So what I just did now, because I was working cleaning, and they sat there for 25 minutes. I don't recommend that long, but the shells just peeled off effortlessly. So what, what happened? They look a little brown. They taste fine, because I tried one. I'm like, do they taste burnt? These, obviously, I let go way too long, and so, but they taste fine. But the shell just peeled off perfectly. So what I'll do next time is let it do the five minute thing, and then I'll let it sit for five minutes, and then I'll do the release, and then I'll put it in cold water. And I bet you it would pull off a whole lot easier. So not that I don't, it's just not all the time. So they taste fine, they're just a little brown. I was like, ooh, it's like I burned my egg here. A little bit, you can see a little brown in there. Tastes fine, I just had one, I'm like, that tastes good. So awesome. So we are pretty much, I'm like looking, I'm like, this was the easiest morning ever, which is great. So everything's cleaned up in here. I'm getting my oven going right now on the clean mode. So what I'm gonna do for lunch today is um, those English muffin pizzas, but my oven's being used because I'm cleaning it. So I got on my 
air fryer. So I think I'm gonna put them in there and just heat up um, pizzas that way. The kids can have that with some apples and oranges because we have a lot of those. And then um, and carrot sticks with lots of carrots. So we're gonna do that for lunch a little bit. I'm gonna do some school here. I'm not recording that because we're gonna go do that and then have that for lunch and that'll be easy and that'll be time to get Jade. We'll probably do the park early, I'm thinking. Maybe take Maxine down here. You wanna go to the park? She's like, I'm smelling eggs and I want eggs. She always stands right in my feet later. There's Maxine, hello. She's like, I smell food and you're not sharing. So maybe we'll take her to the park during the day because they take her later in the day. There's always like a bunch of people with their dogs and then Maxine's out ah, because she does not do well with other dogs because I want her to be an alert doggy that let's protect her family. So when she sees another dog, she's like, ah, you're gonna go hurt my people. So even though that doesn't happen. So we're gonna go to the park, do that early and then it'll be an easy day. I'm like, this is like amazing. It's a great day. Like, oh, it's a fancy, fantastic day. What did I tell you? It was gonna be a great day this morning. And it even has the symptoms of a dreary sleep in bed day. Rainy looking, blah, I was like, I could have laid in bed all day, but look at it, it's not even 1040. It is 1040, 1042 actually. And I'm pretty much done, which is awesome. So I'm gonna get, keep laundry going, I'm waiting for the load, it's pretty full. And then right now, that'll be my uh, second little, third little laundry going. So we're just gonna keep moving, we're gonna keep going and get some school done right now. Okay, busy making phone calls this morning. That's what I did for the last hour. <laughs> so good to be on the phone with company. It takes forever, but I'm very thankful. I was able to get it done. I was like, thank you, Lord. So the kids are like, we're hungry. So I'm gonna put these little pizzas here, right here, and that air fryer over there so we can get dinner going. I can only do four at a time, but that'll be okay. Busy, busy. Phone call, phone call. Get it all set. So I got pizzas here made. Kids are gonna come grab because they're hungry. Delicious. We got some carrots and ranch, and we're gonna do and pizzas peas. and eggs if they want. All right, it's 12, 15 now. I'm like, what a great day. It has been a fantastic day. I was like, oh, every time I'm getting something done, it just gets easier and easier. I'm like, I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna record my Abundantly Blessed series outside today, but I'll do that when I get back. So we have to go pick Jaden up in about 40, 40 minutes. About 40 minutes we gotta leave. So I'm like, hmm, what do I do here? The kids are still finishing up. Um, lunch, delicious by the way, the air fryer. Oh, Chris, those pizzas up so good. Yes, I had one, along with some um, carrots and applesauce. So now I'm gonna cut up all my potatoes for our oven fries for tonight. So we're gonna do the Sloppy Joe cup. So I'm thinking I'll just chop those up, get them on a pan, get them ready in the oven for when I get home, I can turn them on.
Okay, so my oven is still really hot. It won't even let me open it. So I'm just putting my fries right there. When I get back home, we'll finish making dinner. But right now, we're going to leave. Did my last little laundry. I'm going to grab Maxine because nobody grabbed her. Poor doggy. And we're going to go in the car and we're going to go get Jaden and then go walk into the park here. Actually, it's gorgeous. I stepped outside and I was like, ah, oh, it's beautiful. So we're going to go get some exercise because even though I don't feel like it, it's good for me to do. <laughs> so we're going to go do that. Okay, got Maxine getting my shoes right here. I always keep my shoes in my trunk of my car. Do I know why? No, because usually I don't like wearing running shoes or walking shoes. I just don't like them. Like, people like tennis shoes. I do not. Just not something I love. I love wearing, so I'm almost falling here on my mountain. So I like to wear my other shoes when I go up because usually I'm like, we'll go for a walk, but then we'll go like to the store or something. And I don't like to wear my shoes inside the store. Just don't like that look. No big deal people pull it off. I just don't like it. So I keep mine in my car. So I had to run out barefoot. So I got my shoes in. Got my Tevas on, ready to go walking. All right, so we're gonna go. It's gorgeous outside. Look at how beautiful. Oh, there's kitties. There's Bear and Chubby, the two rivals right there. Those two fight, fight, fight right now. And they're, they have PMS boy kitty phase. It's gorgeous, blue skies. It's so pretty. Cool, beautiful day. We're gonna go right now. I'm gonna take Maxine and go to the park. All right, we are done with our park. Good, beautiful walking. Whew, mama walked a lot. I got to talk on the phone, so that worked out really good. Never get to talk on the phone, so. Got to get the phone call in, and that was good. So now we're gonna go head home because the kids are ready to go home. Maxine looks like she's ready to go home. Yep. Maxine, are you ready to go home? Maxine, <gasps> Maxine. <gasps> she's like, just get me home, I'm sniffing. Where's Ruby, where's Ruby, Maxine? <gasps> Let's go find her. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. All right, got home and I'm like, okay, good. So I'm gonna start dinner now. It's only 2.40 right now, but I'm gonna get this done. Put the fries in the oven and bake them. Probably about 400 so they get done quicker. I'm gonna heat my Sloppy Joe's up on the stove here just cause it's still a little bit frozen, not completely thawed. Okay, so I'm kind of waiting for the food to get done in the oven, then I'm gonna go out and record my Abundantly Blessed series. Keep moving, might as well. So I was thinking, I like I like homemade whipped cream. Thank you, someone told me. I mean, I know how to make it before, but I always just balk who it. It's just as cheap, I think, to buy this, and it doesn't have all the garbage in it. So, what I like to do, because I like this in my coffee, minus the creamer, because I drink flavored coffee, and just put like a blob on top of my coffee in the morning, it's so, so good. So you could just pour it in there too, but I like it all fluffy. So I'm gonna just mix them up real quick. Better than me too. The other one tomorrow. Want a big scoop, Brooklyn? No. I need to. It doesn't fit. Okay. Delicious. I'm gonna go get something to do. I'm Brooklyn. I'm gonna book Brooklyn. Okay, that one had the. I used almond extract, and that was actually really good. A little bit better. I like that better than vanilla. Here are the Slappy Joe cups. Look at those. Delicious. There's the corn. Got my next batch in here with the fries. I turn the camera on to talk. Do I start talking and like there's nobody here? The fries are cooking away. They're a little bit bigger, so they're taking longer. I went to, they were a little bit drier. I just had a little bit more oil on top. No big deal. They're not sticky. They're sticking to my parchment paper, so it's okay. I just put a little bit more, and then I went to put more seasoning salt on. I grabbed taco seasoning and I start shaking. I'm like, why is that coming out in a powder? <laughs> so some of them have taco seasoning. I don't know. We'll see how it tastes. So that's cooking. I turn my corn back on. I'm gonna make my little um, sloppy joe cups. All I'm gonna do is take a cup, push it down to make a little indentation in the biscuit, scoop some meat on there, cheese, and bake them in the oven at 350.
that worked out perfectly to have. You saw that I had just enough to put in each one and all the pieces of cheese I gathered in my fragments. So I'll put these over here, wait for the other one to be done because I'm still cooking the potatoes on the bottom and this will be supper, it's dinner, really simple. All right, I'm gonna come outside here. Ooh, get my flip flops on. And then I'm gonna come outside and do a quick little video on Abundantly Blessed. Not a quick, it's about a half hour video on. Okay, watch this and see if she follows. <laughs> do you know where I'm going? Do you know where I'm going? Huh? Oh, then here's somebody else. Do you know where I'm going, Maxine? Stay with Ruby, keep her there. Okay, let's see who follows. Let's see how quick she comes. Every time I do a video, she comes flying for me. <laughs> I'll be very surprised if she doesn't show up. So, it's been a good day today. Remember how my day started? How I felt? I felt awful. I really felt awful. Awful to the point that I was taking Motrin and Acetracine. That's how awful I felt. Ooh, I gotta look over here for a minute. There's no sneakies and stuff. Yes, let me come sit. Hold on. Yeah, I was feeling awful. Awful to the point of Motrin and Cetracine. So. And I feel really good now. I feel really good. Like, I'm gonna be, I just pulled up my SD card. I've got it on my laptop. Gotta make sure it's safe. And then I, um, I'm gonna put my next one in here because it takes a little. See, without Ruby here, I don't know what's behind me. <laughs> Sit this way. So now um, I can kind of work on the video here when I'm done with this one here. I probably have to dinner. And it won't take that long, which will be great. So it's just good. It's good. So you can't go by. Oh, here she comes. Yep, I knew she's coming. Look at Ruby, here she is. Hello, Ruby. You coming with mama? She's like, I'm coming to make sure you are safe. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. She's like, yes, look, here she is. There she is, hello, Ruby. She's like, I'm just checking out live. Sure there's a kitty cat over here up in this shelter, so we'll see if she starts barking or not, but let's hope she doesn't. Probably gonna pee, because that's what she likes to do in camera. Squat and do a pee for the camera. Okay, maybe not, I'm surprised. So yeah, I'm, I'm speaking things that are not what she does. <laughs> She's so sweet. So anyway, so back to feeling. You can't go by how you feel because I just felt awful, but I feel great. I had a great day. I had a great day with my kids. I had a great day getting what I need to get done. I had a great day with conversations with people today. I had a couple phone calls, um, one business one, and it was, it was a great thing. It was something to be an encouragement to someone else. And I thought after they finished, they said, this has just been an answer to prayer. And so I left that conversation with, that's pretty cool that God was able to use me to be the answer to someone's prayer. I'm like, that's awesome. I'm like, that was a good thing. So that to me, that was worth me getting up and moving today. You know what I mean? And so, cause I would have missed out on that. Cause I would have been like, I feel yucky. And then I maybe would have made the phone call when it was a little crazy in my house and not being able to fully listen because, or whatever, because I have kids everywhere. So it was good. So it just made me with a fantastic day. So great day today. All right, so I'm gonna stop for just a minute for you guys. I'll be back in like literally point five seconds so I can do my abundantly blessed. All right, I got through that without Ruby barking. That in itself is a miracle of the Lord. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go back in. It's bright, but there's no air conditioning on, so you'll be able to hear me. It's a gorgeous day. It is so gorgeous outside. We just, I'm starting to feel my, my allergen pill wear off. I'm gonna go get me another one here. I think it's 12 hours, I have to double check. Go check on dinner, and then we'll probably eat and work on this video. That's gonna be easy night. Ruby, you're so good. Here, look at Ruby. Oh, there's Ruby. Oh, there she is. Look at how cute. Look at, she's got the big giant drool. Look at it. Look at her big, look at the drool come down her mouth. <laughs> Hi, Ruby. That drool will wrap around your face when the time is coming. You're so good, you didn't even bark. I love you, you're so good. She's like, yes, I'm doing my job, mommy. That's all that's important. Okay, let's go in. Okay, here's dinner. All these Brooklyn good did a good job. Here's some corn, and here is the fries. So we're gonna get some dinner, and I got some applesauce. Over here, I gotta get another one, too. Okay, we're gonna go eat some dinner right now. Delicious. Okay, so we finished dinner. Everything's cleaned up in the kitchen now. I got a plate for Greg, a plate for Lauren, and that's it. So now I'm gonna work on this video edit a little bit for tonight. Okay, that would be acorns falling. Hi, kitty. Listen to that, what is that? Ooh, 
Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful night out. I just stepped outside. I'm like, it's so cold. Look at little kitty. <laughs> Gigi. Gigi. So it's cold out here. It's like got a little chill in the air. I'm like, oh my goodness. It's beautiful out here. My acorns are dropping. I have a little ding in my windshield. Those little squirrels are up there. So I'm gonna, I worked in the video for about a half hour in there. And I'm like, you know what? It's pretty long, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm like, I'll just close it now make this video come to a close so you guys can end my day i what am i gonna do tonight um i'm gonna finish the video and then what i'm gonna do is i'm going to probably sit and read some books with my kids relax with them for the night and get to bed tonight because i'm still feeling this a little bit up here i'm gonna take my second round of um allergy pills just to make sure i stay good so that's gonna be it so i thank you guys for watching thank you for watching when thursdays wednesday what day went thursdays at amy's so i will see you guys again tomorrow on friday remember when you don't feel like it still push through like I push through all day and like I'm feeling good I'm feeling tired right now but I'm like I'll be ready for bed tonight for sure so but I'm very thankful I did not sit in bed all day long and waste this beautiful gorgeous day so glad I did something so if you're feeling yucky get up and do something don't go by feelings we go by what God's will is for us not to be laying there doing nothing right yes all right you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys again tomorrow for Friday we'll see you tomorrow bye-bye